In Final Cut Pro, wherever there is a drop zone, any video clip applied to it begins playing at the beginning of the template in which the drop zone appears. Unless the drop zone begins at the very beginning of the template, you not only do not get to see the clip start when a drop zone appears, but by the time the end of the template comes around, it's very likely any clip you've added to a drop zone has finished playing and you are stuck with a still image. This technique is one of the fastest ways to synchronize video to a drop zone. You can see that this clip has already finished playing, what I want is to have the clip start at a specific point in the animation of the template. I'll set a marker on the frame at which I want the drop zone video to start playing. Next, add the clip you want to use to the storyline. Select the clip and type the Q key to connect it at the playhead. Snap the beginning of the clip to the beginning of the template. Move the playhead to the first frame and select the connected clip. Type Option F to create a still frame. Notice that a secondary storyline is automatically created. Grab the right side of the still frame and stretch it out to the marker. If snapping is on, it will automatically snap to the marker. If snapping is off, while you drag, hold down the N key and the trim action will snap. Click on the gray bar of the secondary storyline, that should select both the still and the video. Create a compound clip by typing Option G. You can toggle the visibility by typing the V key. Select the drop zone in the template and then select the first frame of the compound clip. You can tell when you've moused over the first frame, you'll see a film strip edge in the left viewer. Click the first frame and then select Apply Clip. Skimming the template, you can see that the video in the drop zone begins playing from its first frame at exactly where the marker is placed. Thank you for watching. Please visit fcpxtemplates.com and check out our over 180 templates for Final Cut Pro.